Buenos dias, Siri. I thought I'd let you know about the summer jamboree coming up. We're holding it three days from today. During the jamboree, the town competes in a little game we like to call the hammer strike. <gasps> really? Oh my gosh, am I gonna be able to make my golden hammer before the summer jamboree so that I can just show up with like the best hammer? Who will come out on top? Who in all of town will beat the heat and rule the summer? <laughs> just kidding. Emilio and Raul have started doing training exercises for it, but Marcos is a top contender. He'll be the one to beat. Between you and me though, I know you're a shoo-in to win. Don't let me down now. So the summer jamboree does not involve playing with summer fruits or the ocean like I thought it would apparently, friends. Instead, apparently it involves like smacking things with hammers. That's not exactly what I expected to happen on the summer jamboree, but here we have it. And hello everyone and welcome and welcome back to Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town, aka SOS Poot! And oh, Ivy Burr! Oh, you're such a good girl, Ivy Burr. I really should get her special treats out. But all right, so the summer jamboree is coming up. That is very exciting. However, we have some other work that we need to work on today, friends. I was up very late last night, making sure that I could get as much done as possible on our farm. And I am very proud to say that we have oh, some sunflowers coming in. We've got sunflowers and more rain, which makes my news a little ironic, but I have a couple more. Look at this. I have got a couple more sprinklers. Yes! Okay, so we don't have a ton of sprinklers just yet, but we are working on making more of them. And look! Our peppers are ready to harvest! Oh, this is so exciting! Oh my gosh, apparently the harvest sprites love the peppers because they're just popping up everywhere. Wow, we almost have 100 harvest sprites too. That's pretty exciting. And then we have got a whole bunch of crops popping up over here with our melons. Oh, this is so lovely, you guys! We've got a ton of tomatoes. I can actually make an omelet out of these tomatoes. So we might go ahead and do that. I'm sort of tempted to spend a little bit of time in the mines to see if we can get even more of the wonderful ores so that we can do an upgrade. But we do need to go ahead and say hello to Iori today since we're still carrying out our roleplay mission of going ahead and trying to get a new heart rate with him. So first things first though, I'm going to go ahead and just ship all of these peppers and all of these tomatoes because if we could get the 20,000 gold to be able to go ahead and actually upgrade the hammer, that would be amazing. I guess we want to do the silver axe first, though? Huh. I'm really going to have to think about that. We'll go ahead and sell that flexible grass just because, just to kind of clear up some space. <gasps> Wait, we actually might end up with 20,000 gold. Okay, actually, my jaw is on the ground because I just looked at how much money we have. We've been making so much more money than I realized. All right, and we need to go get more fodder for all of our animals to, <gasps> what is this egg? It's an egg plus a chicken egg, a chicken's egg with a shell so pearly white, it appears to almost be sparkling. This egg was taken from a happy, healthy chicken. <gasps> Henrietta! Thank you so much, Henrietta! You know what? Let's actually go buy Henrietta the chicken breeding thing because I think Henrietta, like, that's a sign of her pure joy and happiness. And I love the idea that maybe we'll just pretend this egg goes ahead and hatches into her little chick. That seems am egg amazing, if you ask me. Also, last night I worked on spreading this path out a little bit more. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of patches where we're going to be like putting different kinds of crops or maybe some more fodder seeds down. And I'm pretty happy with that. And then let's see, we've got silver ore. And then we need to go ahead and get more iron ore processing. And we can work on getting more sprinklers. Whoops, nope, I need the iron ore, not the iron ore ingots. Ah, I'm so proud of us, you guys. We've really been able to accomplish a lot. I mean, it's only the very first, like, little bit of summer still. And look at us. We're already chucking so many ores in. We're starting to get as wild of a little path as I can try to make built. Our chicken is so happy that we're going to go ahead and have her, like, lay an egg that'll hatch into an adorable chick, because why not? We have a sheep? Hi, little one. There you go, friend. 
We've got Cherry Bell, our very happy cow. We've got Blue Bell, who's also ridiculously happy. There we go. There you go, Blue Bell. And we'll give you a little pet. We've got Quan too. Oh, everybody's so happy. And we've got space for one more in here until we upgrade our barn or our coop. Oh, and I need to speak with Nigel to see if we can actually buy ourselves another one of these amazing mushroom logs. I can't wait to be able to harvest all those mushrooms. I am so proud. We are really doing fantastic. We have 8 million little projects going all of the time to the point where it can be a little overwhelming at times, but we are doing fantastic. And you know what? I don't know if I can actually fish up a fish for Iori today, but I might spend some time fishing with him and I'll try making him some tea instead. Oh, hey, and since I'll be maybe over there, let's also make some pottage out of the beans and the milk for Ralph, because I, I really want to work with the ranger a little bit more too. And we can tell him about all the cool new mushrooms we found. All right, and we'll make some normal tea or should I make some herb tea? Well, let's make some normal tea. And we'll go ahead and take that over to Iori and see if he likes a nice cup of tea to maybe warm him up while he'll be fishing in the rain. Yay! We've got a lot to do today! All right. We'll wiggle this way. We'll get Henrietta, hopefully her little breeding kit, so that she can have an adorable little chick chick. And carry on the long, proud lines of hens who have been part of the treetop nest for generations. All right. Good to see you, Patricia. My, you've got strong bonds with your animals. Let us know if you'd like to breed more. We can find your animal partner and prepare the breeding kits. I would absolutely love that. Chicken breeding kit, chicken breeding kit. I would like to go ahead and apply it to Henrietta. It can only be applied to a big cooper barn. Oh, I have been keeping space open for no reason. Thanks. Thanks for that, Patricia. I guess I need to go talk to Nigel now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh. You should start training for the summer jamboree if you intend to compete. All right, message taken. I'll upgrade the hammer first. I think the summer jamboree may be coming up. I wonder who will win this year. Oh, all right, message, message taken like a dagger to the heart. I can't breed my animals yet, even though Henrietta is so excited about that idea. But we'll come talk to Nigel and see what he has to say about maybe getting our... No! Today is the day where he actually is not at his shop. He's oh. reading a book over here, too. <laughs> I'm going to whoop y'all in the summer jamboree. You Actually, oh. he just might. I made the new benches. I ratcheted the comfort factor up to 11 on those babies. Okay, Nigel, you're hilarious. And Ralph, hey! Huh. The summer jamboree is upon us. I want to break last year's record. <laughs> Accidents tend to happen more often on rainy days. Watch your footing outdoors. Thank you, Ralph. I deeply appreciate like how serious you take your ranger job. Would you like some pottage? Huh. Oh, he got really excited about this pottage. I need to make this man pottage like every day. Thank you. This is great. You clearly have good taste. Thank you very much, Ralph. Ah, all right, so at least we managed to visit with Ralph. Because, come on, he's the ranger. Of course I'm going to have a super soft spot for that. Ah, so, okay, that taken care of. I guess we'll go ahead and we'll take Iori his tea. And then I can't get any more mushroom logs today because you can apparently get those from Nigel, too. Mm -hmm. Should I do some more mining? Mm, I should probably do some fishing because we want to get to le fishing level 4 whilst we are trying to befriend Iori. So let's go give him some tea and see if he enjoys tea. Oh, let's make sure. Is he fishing today? He is not fishing today. He's actually with Dosetsu. Alright, up we go, up we go! Maybe he's having lunch and then he'll head back out for fishing later. Oh wait! Oh wait, that's a bear! <laughs> um... Beth, Ralph! Stay here, Beth. <gasps> Whoa there, big guy. I never expected to run into you here. Stay right where you are, Siri. Whatever you do, don't run. 
If he gets aggressive, I'll tackle him. Then you make a break for it while he's recoiling. Easy now, buddy. This isn't where you're supposed to be. You should be back in the mountain. The fish there are much tastier, I promise. Hide behind me, slowly. The trick is to not to make any quick movements that might provoke him. Okay, we're going to gradually back away. Keep pace with me. Easy does it. I love how he handles, like, emergencies and danger with such clear-headedness. Now, don't move a muscle. A squirrel! That was amazingly done, Ralph! Jeez, I didn't think you'd get that close to town. I should have taken extra measures to make sure he didn't come this far. My own shortcomings aside, I'm impressed. You didn't panic at all. <laughs> um, Ralph, is the bear gone now? Yeah, it's fine. Beth is searching for old ceramics and other artifacts around the forest, so as the ranger here, I guide her around. Ralph's knowledge of the local flora and fauna is quite astounding. It's good to know I'm safe with him even if we bump into a bear. I'm glad you think I'm trustworthy, but we're dealing with wild animals here. The first rule of the wild is simple. You must never let your guard down. We can only live side by side with nature if we recognize how dangerous it is. And it's my job as ranger to keep a close eye out on those dangers. Anyway, we should get going. Take care, Siri. Try to stay alert when you're taking walks through the forest, alright? Ralph! That was so cool! Okay. That- I've got a weak spot for that. I've got a major weak spot for that, not gonna lie. Also, hey, Ori, I guess you're not fishing today because it's raining? Mm. The summer jamboree will be upon us ere long. Would you like some tea? Mm. Hmm, I will accept it with gratitude. Okay, he's probably got tons of tea. Didn't really care for the tea, but he likes grilled fish, so I should probably spend the day fishing. Anne? Good day. All right, well, good to see you too, Ayori. <laughs> I have heard that Master Clemens is favored to claim victory in the Summer Jamboree. He is truly a capable personage. <laughs> the benches have been born anew. What fine attention to detail. Okay! I'm gonna leave y'all to your poetry. I do love good poetry, but I, I guess I just would rather wax poetic about that heart-pounding bear encounter we just had rather than wax poetic about, um, you know, brick benches. But that's just me. But all right, so let's run over and see if there's any town request I can go ahead and fulfill. <gasps> Damon! He wants three silver ores, huh? Well, I might be able to pull that off. Do we have anything? <gasps> We have some flowers! Rainbow Architect from watering our crops 100 times, and Novice Cultivator from finally figuring out that cultivation skill, eh? Wonderful! And what are these? Rose seeds? Heck! Oh, so those are gonna be able to be sown in autumn, and they're quality five rose seeds? Oh, you guys, we're gonna have so much fun planting roses everywhere. But all right, so actually, I wonder what I should do. Maybe we should go ahead and grab that silver ore for Damon, but I kind of need all of my silver ore. And I guess I already really, 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 really prefers like grilled fish. So I'm glad we learned a little bit of variety. He's okay with mushrooms, but he really loves grilled fish. And I do want to try to get to level four on the fishing. Should I spend the day fishing? Uh, but the summer jamboree is upon us ere long, I suppose. So I kind of want to spend a little bit of time trying to gather up. No, 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 no. We want to put the normal eggs in there. There we go. And then we'll put this egg in there. And then we'll go ahead and we'll sell the egg plus. There we go. How much was it worth? I should have double checked. 234 gold will sell the town bronze medal and I you know what I want to upgrade the hammer I think upgrading the hammer would be a really good time we might be able to really be able or we might really be able to pull off like something fun at the summer jamboree which would kind of tickle me all right we'll put those flowers away <gasps> oh and we can get the hibiscuses out and plant the hibiscuses soon oh I love that I just need to make another spot that offers up Huh. Like right here! I just need to go ahead and like, oh, actually I do have some spots over here. 
that's got room for the hibiscuses. So let's go ahead and plant them right here for now. And then I have two extra hibiscuses that I'll go ahead and I'll harvest these petunias. Like level five petunia seeds, that's amazing. All right, hibiscus there, hibiscus there. I'm going to drop one of the petunia seeds. I'm so sad that you actually cannot put any mushrooms in the seed maker. Like that really, it hurt my heart when I saw that. I was so disappointed. Uh, but a level five petunia, how much does that sell for compared to normal petunias, I wonder? Let's come over and check. So, 135 gold. Well, you know, I would rather give that to Lynn as a gift, to be honest, because Lynn's really cool. And you know what, if I had to pick something, I think we should continue to work on sprinklers, friends. So with that in mind, let's actually go ahead and practice our, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Fodder, fodder. I almost forgot the fodder. Oh, my animals. Oh, and there's a sign. We should take the flower to Lynn too. <laughs> All right, all right. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Oh, thank goodness. Angela, I'm so oh, glad yeah. to see you. I almost forgot to feed my animals and it would have just been so sad. Also a confession pigment? You'll be able to convey your feelings to them once you've reached six hearts. Oh, I need time to think about something like that. Like a lot of time. Oh, look at this. And I sold some more of the mushrooms and now we can grow trumpet spores and coral spores. Huzzah! All right, and let's just grab ourselves 14 of this fodder. And then while we're here, I guess I could go ahead and get some fodder seeds. Even though I probably should, uh, I mean, I am trying to save up so that we can go ahead and upgrade that hammer. Mm, I do have a few places I wanna go ahead and put seeds in our, our new little path. Uh, five days to grow, yield and produce. Uh, mm, Okay, we'll buy like three of them for now. There we go. Thank you, Angela. Make sure you don't forget about the summer jamboree. It's coming up soon. Howdy there. You seem to be doing well. Thank you, Angela. I really appreciate that. I hope you are too. All right, so let's take this flower to Lynn. Having to rush back for the fodder just makes me really think that we were meant to like drop this flower off. It's a very high quality flower. Pretty proud about that. Pretty proud about that, not gonna lie. And is Lynn making dinner for her grandpa as usual? No, she's reading a book on a rainy day. <laughs> Before long, the summer jamboree will be upon us. I won't be participating, but I look forward to it nonetheless. Oh, here you go, Lynn, have a flower. <laughs> Thank you, I like this sort of thing. <gasps> There's a unique, inspiring beauty to flowers glistening in the rain. Oh. I love how she just notices nature and everything amazing about it, and then Ralph also notices, like, everything amazing about nature that could kill you. That's also cool. <laughs> oh, and you know what? We'll go ahead and you and I, my friends, will go and celebrate the last of today's amazingness by doing a little bit of beach fishing until we pull up a fish that we can donate to the museum, which shouldn't be hard because I haven't been here too often. And we'll do that in honor of trying to remember that Iori really loves fish and he's trying to teach us to also get into the art of fishing. We upgraded to a silver fishing rod for his sake after all. And I should probably work on maybe trying to get ourselves some. Wait, can I not fish like they can here? Oh, there we go. Well, we should probably get some bait going too. All right, come on, fish fish. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, this one seems like a big one. All right, wait for it, wait for it. And, oh hey, it's another one of these crabs. Okay, not gonna help us with getting Iori's like special grilled fish like he wants, but we'll go and try this one. All right, come on. And, all right. Oh, oh, this is a big chunker. But I think we're gonna be able to get him, friends. Almost, almost. Oh, another one! Oh, okay, I seem to just attract a ton of these crabs. Who knows, maybe Nguyen will enjoy a good crab for all we know. Come on. Oh, what? Wait, what was that all about? Is this like a rare fish? 
I feel a lot of pressure. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get him. What do I do? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get him. Is this like a super rare fish? Oh, what do I do? What do I do? Oh, he got away! <gasps> okay, now I understand the thrill and the excitement of what Iori has been trying to do over here because that was really exciting! I, I'm i gonna have to practice fishing too. I have hardly done it at all. As it as evidenced by the fact that I'm still figuring out like, all right, fish, okay, wait for him. Wait. So you wanna pull when it's blue? Oh, we got another velvet shrimp. Well, that's good, but I'm still not running into like a fish that I can turn into grilled fish for Iori. That's just the last thing I wanna be able to do with my day before I like run off to the mines to try to get more silver. Come on, fish, fish. Do we want to wait until he's... A oh, 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 oh. Okay. Alright, I think he's trying to get away. But... Oh, he got away! Wow, this is harder than I thought it would be, guys. <laughs> I'm not going to just think that making a bunch of grilled fish is the easiest thing in the world anymore. And I'll slowly but surely play with it. It looks like if you wait until everything is blue, blue is the best shot. And I have another squid! All right, taking back everything I said about this being simple. Pull up while it's green. All right, blue is definitely the best. So blue best, green is kind of like in, the, in neutral. And <gasps> a sardine! We did it! Finally! Okay, I will go ahead and I will now gift the sardine to Iori tomorrow as a grilled fish. And we did move our fishing skill up just a teensy bit at least. Just a teensy bit. So that's good at least. Oh, oh and I need to feed my animals! <laughs> oh, sorry guys, I didn't mean to forget about you. But all right, I'm gonna go ahead and feed the animals, put down the fodder, place down a few of these fodder seeds, and then if you guys would like to join us next time, do please consider subscribing. All right, everybody in here, except for the sardine. Oh, they're all higher quality now too, excellent. And if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But I'm just gonna go ahead and take care of things in the mine, and then I will see you guys next time. Bye bye